Hello Retro Movie fans, my name is Retro Movie Girl and today I have for you NYPD Red 2. This is the second book in the NYPD Red series and this one is about Gideon and Dave. When the book opens, Gideon and Dave have just found out that Dave's sister Meredith has been raped by uh, gangster, uh, gangster member's son, a member of a crime family, their, their son has raped Meredith. So, what Gideon and Dave decide to do is take revenge on Enzo, which is the name of the person that raped his sister. And in the process of killing Enzo, they decide that they like vigilante justice. And they take it upon themselves when they grow up and have careers, which will be ironic, by the way. I can't say what they do or, you know, but they start killing, like, gangster, not necessarily gangsters, but gangbangers, drug dealers, people that nobody is just, frankly, never going to miss and doesn't really care about as a way of unleashing vigilante justice. They, they decide to move to New York, and what, I think what happens in the book after Meredith, Meredith's rip is the catalyst that keeps them thinking about vigilante justice, because frankly, Enzo did a lot of stuff to them. Even, be, even before he raped Meredith, he did a lot of stuff to them. He beat them up. He made them buy things like vodka for him, this very expensive vodka, and he just wasn't, he was all around bad guy. What do you expect from a monster son in the first place? But when they start kidnapping high profile celebrities, like Evelyn Parker Steele, who, who is married to a millionaire, and her brother Damon has a local television show, and um, talking about justice, you know, what's going to happen to people. He's like a crime commentator or something like that. But when they kidnap Parker Evelyn Steele, that's when things get a little hairy. They've kidnapped other, th other people who they, who they you know have committed crimes. And they know that if they kill them, nobody's going to miss them. So that's pretty much the, the premise of this book. How they kill, how they kill and kidnap and get the people to confess to crimes they may or may not have committed because they believe that the police have dropped the ball. But once they kidnap Parker Evelyn Steele, things get really serious because she is a celebrity, which facilitates the need for NYPD Red and for Jordan and Kyla to come along and help nab them and help get them off the street but when i come back i'll be telling you about one of my favorite scenes and hopefully asking you a question so i'll be back for the next clip one of my favorite scenes in the book is after they kidnap a woman called Rachel O'Reith, who was accused of killing her child, Kimmy. She's a innocent, she was on trial for killing her daughter because the child made too much noise, whatever. But the thing I find very kind of creepy and kind of fascinating is the fact that they have this weapon. I can't tell you what it is because it's a spoiler, but he's telling her, he's like caressing it lovingly and telling her how he's going to use it to like kill her or torture her or something. But one thing that really sprang to mind when he was talking about this weapon was, you remember the Princess Bride and when the Count, when the Count Rugen had Wesley in under the water torture and he's like I just took one year of your life away it, it's it's that kind of sinister thing where you're well you know it's sinister and it's creepy as hell but also fascinating because he's like 
what what Cal Rubin says is I'm gonna write a book and I need I need how you feel for posterity and all this stuff and Wesley starts to cry. It, it it's that it's the exact same kind of feeling I get when I read this scene and he was talking about the weapon and how he was gonna use it to torture her before to make her confess to this crime that she may or may not have committed because it is their modus operandi to catch people like say, like Rachel or Evelyn Parker Steele or the other victims of the crimes to make them to make them confess on videotape and for the videotape to go viral. So that's my favorite scene. And I want to know, just out of curiosity, what's your favorite scene from The Princess Bride? And have you read a James Patterson book before? And if so, which one is your favorite? Make sure to leave that for me in the comments. And I'll talk to you very soon in my very next video. Bye.